Hi guys, welcome back to another resource management 2021 video. This is probably going to be the last video in this series that gives you a big picture kind of look before we actually get into the details of each game mode and the progression of the game. So guys, this is most useful or not characters for campaigns. So guys, if you're ready for it, sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Resource management, guys, is my rating system of how useful a character is in unlocking content and gaining sustainable resources. Things that factor into a character being efficient through this game is one, can they unlock a legendary? Are they used for monthly events? Are they the best option for the highest tier of the challenges? Are they DD3 efficient? Are they useful in U7, which is Ultimus Raid 7, guys? And number of campaigns and arena. And once again, guys, this is not a purely free to play list. This is for every character in the game no bias of how they're unlocked so let's begin with the different campaigns that are in the game first let's start with mystic and cosmic campaigns in case you guys don't know only characters with the cosmic trait can enter in cosmic and only characters with the mystic trait can enter in mystics a character like dr strange has both the mystic and cosmic tags which means he can actually be used in both campaigns now, do I recommend Doctor Strange? You guys are just gonna have to wait until I actually break down the actual progression of the game to actually get my recommendations and progress. So let's keep going on with a few more campaigns. We have the heroes, villains, which are the two you guys start the game out with. Villains can be a little bit of a struggle to get started within the first couple days, but usually by day three or four, you, you're starting now to progress through villains. Uh, Nexus is the next campaign. Not much to say about that one. That was pretty much a free for all. So heroes campaign, you need heroes like Captain America that have the hero tag, villains. You need characters that have the villain tag here like Hela. And the Nexus campaign doesn't really take much of anything except it does have Thanos at the end of that campaign, which right now is a highly valuable character in the game. Other campaigns, ISO 8 and Doom War. Now Isotope 8 campaign takes global tunes only and do more well that's where they tried to make every useless tune useful and if you don't believe me go back and watch the predecessor to this video which is called campaign gods resource management 101 and look how many characters i told you guys have no use in campaigns and now have a use and do more it's very fishy but taking a snapshot at the entire roster we have one character that has seven campaign uses four characters with six campaign uses 13 with five uses 38 with four 42 with three 33 with two 26 with one and only one character with zero that went from 11 to one now let's start this with the character that actually has no campaign uses and this character if you guys were paying attention during the last video in this series you guys already know who this should be and that is kingpin yes kingpin uh now that i'm putting this information out there i fully expect in 2021 for kingpin to be used somewhere if not getting his own team or getting a team tag slapped on him so he can be used in a something in the game moving on tunes with only one campaign use and that's it namor nebula which Nebula is not farmable anywhere in the game. I don't think she has a single farm location currently. Uh, She-Hulk and Yellow Jacket, which I'm pretty sure you guys' hearts are not broken over that one. Now, I don't really expect a change for three of these characters. Yellow Jacket could be changed if Pimtech is needed for Jubilee, as rumored, but time will only tell. Now, continuing with characters with only one campaign use, and that is Hand Archer, Hand Blade Master, Ravager Boomer, Ravager Bruiser, and stitcher now they all have a plus one which means they're used elsewhere but in both these cases i don't know if you actually want to achieve these characters maybe i don't know hand for the relic hunt event and ravagers can be used to unlock star lord do you want to go that route i don't know guys we'll get into that later in a future video now we have some more characters just like these ones that's bullseye merc rygard mark sniper and mark soldier Obviously, these all can be used in the Payday Monthly event. Moving on a few more, we have the Defenders minus Iron Fist, because he's used in other places, and Night Nurse. Yes, I am to the point in this game, if you can avoid Defenders starting off this game, that's a plus. That's a big plus, guys. All right, and obviously, their one extra use is the Block Party bi-monthly event, and that means once every two months, not twice a month. All right, still, with one campaign use, but growing in uses is Ghost, Merc Lieutenant, Punisher, and Squirrel Girl. 
These all have two plus uses outside this one campaign that they are good for. And then the next set of characters all have one campaign use, but they have four or more uses elsewhere. Emma Frost, Carnage, Scream, Venom, and Ultron. These five, even though they don't have very good campaign uses, you shouldn't have to worry about that when building them up as they are used elsewhere. Even going back to the last slide and talking about characters like Ghost, it is possible that character is going to have much more uses in the future. It just is taking time for players to unlock them and share data of what they're doing with her. Because you guys got to remember, a lot of initial content when it first comes out, people clear with what they already have, which means newer characters don't get exposed and we have to wait for the community to catch up and use new characters to give us new data. And in case you guys don't know, my data all comes from the community. Nothing here is subjective. It's all flat out facts. All right, moving on to the high end. Five campaign uses. These are the good campaign characters. Now these first four, I want you to put a little asterisk on them because they only have uses for campaigns in this game. Now they do have some uses and war. Once again, resource management does not factor in war as that's the end game mode. That's what you're trying to accomplish. You're trying to get through all the content. So you only have to focus on war in this game. So the three characters that can make the transition to war, Elsa Bloodstone, Doctor Strange and War Machine. Star-Lord, guys, this is the main reason why I'm not a big fan of Star-Lord and I say don't worry about Star-Lord. That character needs a rework or just a stat buff overall and maybe like a little bit of a kit change so that he can synergize with characters outside of the Guardians. Uh, I think that's what he needs at this point to come back to the meta. Uh, he's good in mid game, but he will fall off quickly and you don't want to waste resources into a character that won't carry you to the end game. But now it's time to go on to some characters with five campaign uses plus more. That is Heimdall, M'Baku, Nick Fury, Rocket Raccoon, and Yo-Yo. All five of these characters have more than just campaign uses and they do do five campaigns. Now these aren't the most appetizing characters. Heimdall does get you Black Bolt and Baku does do Chaos Theory. Nick Fury, I, I do not recommend building up cream minions. I'm hoping they change that in the near future. Rocket Squishy in the late game can't stand a chance. And Yo-Yo is, is behind premium orbs. So it's basically a whale special. So all cautionary tales here, but I still have more with five campaign uses plus used in other game modes. And these ones are a little bit more appetizing. Black Widow, Captain America, Hawkeye, and Falcon. All four of these characters you cannot go wrong with. And please keep watching this series and you guys will understand why I say you can't go wrong with these characters. As I start laying out the details of every game mode and the progression of this game, you're going to see that these characters will pop up again. Now we need to move on to an elite class. The ones with six campaigns. Now, we're going to start with Scarlet Witch, a part of the Supernatural team. Six campaign uses, but not much else. Once again, can make the transition to war, assuming the war meta stays the same as you progress through this game. But she's used for Mystic, Heroes Chapter 7, Nodes 4, 6. Doom War Chapter 1, Nodes 4, 6. Doom War Chapter 3, basically Nodes 4 through 9. And Isotope 8 Campaign. Next up, another character with 6 campaign uses is Iron Man. Once again, not one that's really used elsewhere in the game, but can do a lot of campaign work. His can be used in Heroes Chapter 7, Nodes 4 through 6. Doom War Chapter 1, Nodes 7 through 9. Doom War Chapter 2, Nodes 7 through 9. Doom War Chapter 3, Nodes 4 through 9. And Isotope 8 Campaign. Now the next one I need to cover also have 6 campaign uses plus more. And hopefully the next one becomes farmable as soon as Emma Frost's event is done because it is Agent Coulson. Yes, six campaign uses and more. And I do believe this guy gets farmable. We're going to see another level of this character. He's popped up on a few people's ability to be able to clear content, but I believe he's farmable is going to pop up a lot more. A Heroes Chapter 7, Nodes 4 through 6. Nexus Chapter 8, 7 through 9. Doom War Chapter 1, Nodes 7 through 9. Doom War Chapter 3, Nodes 4 through 9. And Isotope 8 Campaign. Yes, if this character was farmable, I'm pretty sure we'd see a lot more of him. Oh yeah, and by the way, why is he 180 unlocked for new players? They're never going to unlock him with his current drop rate in the Milestone Orb. Now, I know the Milestone Orbs in, are changing seasonal orbs, and I know... He's mentally gonna get kicked out of there once Emma Frost goes in, but still 180, come on, change it down to a hundred at least. Let's move on. Next up is Black Panther. Yes, Black Panther, six campaign uses or more. Mystic's campaign, Heroes chapter seven, four through six. Do more chapter one, nodes four through six. Do more chapter two, nodes one through three. Do more chapter three, nodes four through six and Isotope eight campaign. And finally, the character that stands 
above them all. And if guys, if you see my resource management 101, you guys probably already know who this character is. It didn't change. He's still number one, got added another use, and that is the God of Campaigns, Thor, with seven campaign uses plus much more in this game. He can do the Cosmic Campaign, the Mystic Campaign, Heroes Chapter 7, Nodes 7 through 9, Nexus Chapter 8, Nodes 4 through 6, Doom War Chapter 1, Nodes 4 through 9, and Doom War Chapter 3, Nodes 4 through 6. And guys, that ends all the useful and not useful characters for campaigns. And like I said in the intro, there's videos coming up that are going to start breaking everything down in more detail. I don't know the order at this current moment of what I'm doing next, but you guys are going to get a clip of it at the end scene credits as I typically do that for the resource management 2021 series. Yes, and guys, this series, in case you don't know, is going to take every progression of this game and I'm going to tie it in a neat little bow for you and you're going to love what I have inside that package. And with that said, if you guys enjoy this one, give me a thumbs up. If you're new here and I'm not done so already, hit that subscribe button. And if you do not want to miss any resource management 2021 video, don't forget that notification bell. And with all that said, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye. All right, so guys, now it's time to how my guys work. Now, I will briefly go over this in every future video, but I won't spend as much time on it as I am going to do right now. So if you need to understand how this works, this is the most important thing for you guys to watch.